This video was brought to you by Stoinberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? Today I'm gonna to show you the charging speed of the Tesla Model Y, long range. So let's just dive right into it because many people, they actually skip this one and they go straight to the charging session. So right off the line, you see that uh, the Model Y is charging quite a semi, okay, it's hitting 200 kilowatt, but not 250, uh, and then it starts throttling already. That is really uh, disappointing. And then in the middle, you see the Panasonic battery is going, uh, it was hitting 250 kilowatt, and then it starts throttling, but you see already at 20%, it's still having a decent speed compared to the Model Y. Model Y is charging, uh, <laughs> surprisingly slow compared to the, the Panasonic battery. Actually, I also tested the LG uh, battery. I already compared the LG battery in the Model 3 versus uh, the Model Y, and they have the exact same charging curve exact same battery so that's why i didn't include it and then i also include the lfp battery because in the future you will get model y with lfp battery from china cheaper of course with shorter range but you just want to show you how awesome the lfp battery is compared to the to the uh, lg battery and then the panasonic battery is still still pretty good uh, we have of course the best range uh, the, the the biggest battery but uh, i don't know uh, maybe uh, you guys probably have more better insight than me uh, in the future the lg uh, maybe the model y will get the panasonic battery i'm not sure about that one and then also the Model Y would get the LFP uh, battery in the yeah in the standard range plus version. But uh, okay, not much to say here. I see that around 50%, uh, the Panasonic battery is hovering around 90, 90 kilowatt only, which is not too impressive because the classic ones, the one from 2019, 2020, they are charging even faster than the Panasonic battery. So I don't know if, if we will ever get back to that one uh, ever again, but at least it seems like the, the LG battery that I've tested, this one is the Model Y, and I also tested it, the, the LG in the Model 3, and they were... Uh, they were tested around six to eight months apart and the charging curve is exact same. So they haven't really improved anything in charging curve on the LG battery. So you can assume that if you buy the Model Y today, uh, it, it could be possible that you will not, no, not get any charging speed improvement there. Unlike the Panasonic battery, which did get a boost uh, and it's okay now. And you guys see that this is one, the middle the middle card, uh, that's the one I set some insane records to uh, Arctic Circle and uh, 1000 kilometer challenge, the best, oh, the best really and you see that it could even be faster if they unlock even more power in the Panasonic battery and the fee battery though it's a smaller one it, it, it's cobalt free you know it's good for the environment good for political reasons uh, and it's still charging like a boss it has some awesome properties you can just google about LFP battery and look at the battery university other places you will see why the LFP battery is so awesome um, but right now you could see that uh, once we get higher up here, it could seem like the difference between the Panasonic battery and uh, the LG battery is smaller. But however, most of the time, yeah, you probably want to charge to around 60-70% if you're in a rush. Actually, when I do the 1000 km challenge, I only charge about 50-55% to get the best time. But of course, uh, who rushes like that, right? So for people who want to take a longer break, you probably want to charge to even 80-90%. And then you see that the difference here is not that great. But however, I should also point out that again, the classic battery are charging faster than this so um, I'm not sure why uh, it's a bit disappointing how slow the newer batteries from Tesla's are charging compared to the old one uh, for example MC Hammer is charging like a boss but okay look now the LFE battery is about to hit 90% already but look at the kilowatt hour added 50 uh, around 45 kilowatt hour added to 90% in the LFP it's not that slow behind uh, the LG battery uh, but the Panasonic of course leading here so now you guys can uh, expect uh, or you can see what you can expect if you get the LFP or the, the smaller battery the sr plus model y if you think that maybe the model y is too expensive now okay maybe you wait for the sr plus because think about this uh, Lee, uh elon he said that uh, now he doesn't want uh, cars with too short range and um, but even the model 3 with lfp has 450 kilometers of range and if you look at for example fat e-tron 50 it has only 300 kilometers range many uh, uh, legacy automakers they have around what well, suvs they have maybe around 300 to 400 kilometers of range and i would expect that if you put the lfp battery in uh, model y you might even get around 400 uh, 350 400 kilometers range should be possible which means that it's still decent and people will still buy it so uh, would you want to buy it 
Huh? Okay, I'm talking too much now. Just uh, pay attention there. Oh shit, the stuff is going. What? LFP is almost at 100%. What the fuck say? Uh, Panasonic is about to hit 90%. And now you see that the difference between the LG and the Panasonic is lower. So it could seem like the LG battery has slightly flatter charging curve towards 90% versus the Panasonic battery. But the LFP, though, is it just, just like a boss. It's almost an AI, you see? Uh, so, yeah, okay, we are only done. So just want to show you, uh, again, I included LFP battery to go to 100% because it's a smaller battery, of course, but it also has a fairly flat charging curve and actually when I was comparing you guys can try to do to rewind and go back you will see that the LG at the same percentage for example at 50% if I remember correctly the LG was taking the same power as the LFP battery at 50% but remind you let me remind you that the LFP okay and LFP battery uh, is smaller so the LG the 70 kilowatt hour pack is 33% larger so this, you know, this just shows the power of the LFP battery and I can talk uh, about uh, more about LFP. For example, I'm quite pumped up about the BYD blade battery. There's also LFP based. Uh, but okay, so we have to talk about the Model Y. So, uh, surprise, or how to put this, um, a disappointingly slow charging speed in the Model Y. Uh, but already did the uh, estimation on 1000 km challenge. Uh, it's supposed to take 10 hours roughly with this battery. If the Model Y would get the Panasonic battery, if they would boost up the charging speed, then I estimate that the, the, the 1000 km challenge would be around 950, 945 maybe. Depends how fast it charges and all that, right? Uh, and that will actually be on par with Ionic 5. So uh, again, um, it's not only, only about the charging speed, unfortunately fortunately or unfortunately, because uh, practically when you do a long trip, you have to drive initially a long stretch before you have to take the first charging stop. So range matters. And then uh, after a while though, you have to top up. And then of course, charging speed matters, but also efficiency matters because you it's not kilowatt that drives you forward. It's kilowatt combined with watt hour per kilometer. Yeah, you know what I mean? So that's probably why uh, even the Model Y could match Ionic, which charges way faster. But again, uh, think about this. Um, even the fat e-tron is being beaten by Ionic and Teslas uh, nowadays. Why? Because fat, uh, fat e-tron charges fast, but uh, fat e-tron is highly inefficient. So yeah, but uh, again, um, uh, when it comes to uh, Model Y, I'm still a bit disappointed in the charging speed. I hope they will do something about it because uh, people expect nowadays that uh, the, the batteries will be charging faster. But again, it's the efficiency of the Model Y that saves the day. Yeah. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.